All right, so I got something pretty creepy. Something really strange is happening in the district of Sabak Burnham. People are waking up in the middle of the night because someone is knocking on their front doors. But when they check to see who it is, no one's there. Luckily though, someone got footage of this creepy phenomenon. But by far, the creepiest encounter has to be this one. A piece of advice that someone has shared with me is that you should never open the door for anyone who isn't there. If you do, then you might be inviting something in, and that something isn't something you want. Dominic Matijan was home alone when he caught this on camera. Okay, so I'm literally home alone. Listen to how loud and aggressive it is. That's why we're moving! This is definitely me when someone's hogging up the bathroom. Maybe the reason why it's knocking so aggressively is because it's not a ghost, but rather something else. But, as always, I'll let you be the judge of that. Ashley Kettering had a camera placed in her basement where she captured something pretty creepy. Now, some viewers think that this could have been an image cast by a projector, but Ashley states that there was no projector whatsoever. Said that it was a projector all i have is this so see this is like a bookshelf right here and this is the wall see how it would turn so what do you think real or fake A user on Reddit posted the following video and writes, Please help. I don't know what this is. It was in my baby's room, but when I went to check, nobody was there. The first thing that comes to mind when I see this is Trevor Henderson. His work is just the stuff of nightmares, which you should definitely check out. But unlike the characters in his artwork, this one might be real. Reddit user Shadow12 was at home when he captured the following on camera. Shadow12 writes, This was in my house last year. Scared me so bad. Luckily I don't live there anymore. This one's scary for sure, but it'd be a whole lot scary if it were a cross instead of a picture. That would be unholy. Urbix Hill is a YouTuber who explores abandoned places, but the places he's gone to as of recent have left him unsettled. While checking out an abandoned factory, this happens. Oops. 
Hello. 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 Nobody's in there. But all of this is nothing compared to his latest tour inside an abandoned church. I can't imagine how terrifying it must be to explore these places alone and encounter stuff like this, but props to him for getting this on camera. If there's a place that I would stay away from at all costs, it would be the Clean Water Demon House in Reno, Nevada. A lot of people have died there, and it's also a hotspot for satanic rituals. So. When Patrick and Jason went over to this house, they couldn't believe the stuff they witnessed. Oh, don't do this now. Is there anybody in here with us? We thought we saw you on the stairs. Are you still there? Are you messing with that equipment? Let us know if you're messing with that. Uh, lights on. I'm gonna say yes. Dude, what the f is going on with this thing? I don't know. At the same Weird time. Out. I don't know what it is about that staircase, but it just doesn't feel good. What was that? What? I don't think that was a shadow, but it was on the other side of that window. Right as I was walking back into the house, I just happened to glance down at the camera's LED screen. I thought I saw some kind of black shadow behind that window, but I didn't even realize until I reviewed the footage that I'd captured probably one of the best shadow figures I've ever seen. And here's where it gets even more compelling. This is the shot from the camera that was sitting inside of that room. I'm going to sync up the audio from this camera to our cameras and show you that there's no explainable reason that something should have been behind that door. I don't know what it is about that staircase, but it just doesn't feel good. What was that? What? I don't think that was a shadow. It was on the other side of that window. Now that's scary. Here's footage of someone who's being chased by La Llorona, the weeping woman, who is a ghostly entity that mourns over the death of her children who she killed. It's believed that she comes out in the dead of night, as the following video shows. As someone who likes to walk at night, this terrifies me. Justice Alexander has a small daughter who has an imaginary friend named Michael. 
but after capturing the following on video, Michael may not be imaginary at all. Who knows if what children are seeing are figments of their imagination or something else completely. Hopefully it's the former and not the latter. Tim Morozov returns to the place where he did a paranormal investigation. He goes back to do another one, but little does he know, something downright terrifying would occur. Да что за нафиг? Тут есть что-нибудь? Да блин. Что это было? You can call the Ghostbusters, but I'm calling Tim. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. Until next time.